Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I want to take a look at this little gadget. This is the Tridix. Yes, that's how you say that. That's how I'm going to say it for this video. This is the Tridix USB cable tester. So this device is designed to let me take a look at what pins are on in a USB cable because there's apparently multiple kinds of USB-C cables alone. And I know that I have seen in the past where I've grabbed a USB cable, either a, a usually a USB micro or mini cable that may or may not have data pins turned on. So I'm trying to get a device working and the device isn't working and it turns out it's because the cable doesn't have a data connection. It has power enabled, but no data. There may be times when you want that on purpose. So this device is designed to let us see what those pins are. So let's jump in and take a look at it. So here's a close-up shot of the box of the Tridix USB cable tester that we're talking about. And I bought this off of Amazon. This was not sent to the channel by the people at Tridix. I paid for this myself. And I thought it was a useful device because I have been thwarted in the, in the past by cables that did not have all the pins connected. So this is designed for sorting out the heap of USB cables, which can help you easily find the USB cable you need. You can know how much wires are inside a cable through observing LEDs on the test board. It measures the following types, type B 3.0, type B 2.0, type C 3.0, 3.1, and 3.2, micro B3, micro B2, mini B2, and lightning. Once we open the box, we can see that our board, and again, this is, I bought this straight off of Amazon. Our board already has a CR2032 battery installed. So we can activate it by pulling out the little plastic prophylactic that keeps the battery from powering the board. And then here's the other way we can power it right here with that JST connect. There's a switch here to let us, uh, I'm gonna say that's an on off switch use the uh, the battery to power the board or the JST connector. It lists these out on the back of the manual. So a type B 3.0, which is this guy with this little weird notch on the top. This looks similar to a USB printer cable, but this is a little snazzier version and you'll see this on some monitors. This is not very common anymore. And so it shows us what all the uh, what all the ports are on the back. That is indeed a power switch up here in the corner so that this thing isn't draining the battery when we're not using it. The back of the board gives us pinouts for all of our different cables so we can determine what we're looking at when we plug in a cable. If we look through the manual quickly, and I am not gonna get into reading all the pages. Once again, here's our pinouts and what they are. And then it talks about more USB pinouts uh, from both ends. So that's pretty cool because this is information I would not know. And then a cable function identification table. So that is it. It's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot to the device. So let me grab some cables and let's plug some stuff in and see what we get. Testing one, two, three. Okay, so let's take a look at some cables. So what I have here is the manual, and this is the important part right here to notice. Do not connect to device. So don't plug this in to a USB device because you will send power, I assume, the wrong way and make things go boom. So what this tells you here is based on the lights that come on, this down the left side tells us what kind of cable this is and its functionality. And this is more important for USB-C because there's multiple types of USB-C cables, but there you go. So this is a A to micro USB cable. So let's plug this in and see what happens. Let's turn our board on. Okay, so I've got a USB micro to USB A cable plugged in. And you can see here that we have some pins lit up. It looks like pin one, 
in six, seven, and nine, which is ground, data plus, data minus, and VBUS on this particular cable. So with pin one, six, seven, and nine on pin row B, which is this side, We have D plus and D minus. We have pin one, which is ground. So that looks like this guy right here. And this is, yep, that's exactly what this is. So there's two pin rows, a row A and a row B. We're looking at row B here because that's the side that's lit up with this particular cable. And we have one, six, seven, and nine lit up. Now these are not in the same order as this, and these are using pin names, not these pin numbers down the side of the cable. But if you look at this, and I don't know, this doesn't focus well on this. But we have we have V bus, D plus, D minus, and ground. If we look over here in our little book, we can see that we have ground, check, V bus, check, D plus and D minus, check. So that means that this is charging and data transmission. So this would work for cell phone or any device that needed a data connection on that particular cable. Now I have another cable. This is uh, what we commonly refer to as an AB cable. This is the A side. This is a B connector or a host connector. A lot of people call this a printer port connector. And this is the older style. It will fit in this port and will work but this is not one of these fancier host kind of cables. And so let's plug this in over here in the USB 2 side. And again, we lit up pin row B and we have the same pins we had before, ground, D plus, D minus, and VBUS. If I plug this into USB 3, the USB 3 port, we have the same pins. So once again, this is a sure enough data cable and could also be used for power. This is absolutely something you would plug into the back of your ICOM radio, for example, or a printer to use with this cable. Let me go grab a couple other cables and let's test a few different kinds. All right now, this is a C cable and it's C on both ends. So I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna do. Looks like we have to plug it in both sides. So C. The C, yep. And we have a whole lot more lights lit up. We have pins in A and pins in B. So let's take a look at our book. Get that guy out of the way. I also want to screw around with it. This is a C to A adapter, so that's worth playing with too. And we have ground, B bus, CC2, D plus, D minus. Vbus CC2 D plus D minus the other Vbus. There's actually two Vbuses. It looks like they are both lit. CC2 is also lit, and the other ground is lit. So that looks like this cable right here. Yep, is charging high speed data transmission. And if we look over at the B row side, or uh, excuse me, the A row side, we see ground, B bus again, CC1 and ground, and that's it. So that's this cable again. So I think we read that across, and these are all the lights that are on for this cable. So this is charging slash high speed data transmission. All right, let me go see if I can find, uh, actually, let's do this. Now let's plug in our A adapter and see if we make our cable stupid. Interesting, it still says it's got all the functions. Very cool. It knows that it's not just a straight A cable because these lights match what we had before when it was C to C. And basically what I'm seeing in this is the more pins that are, the more LEDs that are lit up, the cooler our cable is. I was curious what this would do. 
Let me go find a lightning cable and let's take a look at an Apple cable and see what we get. And then this is the lightning cable. Let's find the lightning port. That guy. Yep. And then plug this into C side. And we get a different light combination. On this side, we have D plus and D minus, and on this side, we have ground and D plus and V bus. And if we look here, there's V bus right there, there's ground, and here is D plus and D minus. And there's also a D plus over on our B side, but this is a C to lightning cable. So very cool. So as you can see, you get combinations of cables and I guess this is designed to be able to plug in both sides of the cable which makes perfect sense because that's why they tell you warning don't connect to the device this is providing the power some of these cables in the USB-C ones especially the pinouts are a little fancier lightning cables have electronics inside the, the connector they are not just wires they have a little chip in there I think USB-C cables do as well so in any case very cool Guys, that's all I've got for you today. This is the Treatix USB cable tester. I will put a link to this uh, Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you would, make sure and give me a thumbs up on the video. Please make sure you're subscribed in the dingus below and ring the bell over here so that you get notified whenever I post any new content. Thanks a lot, y'all. 73.